Hello, everyone. Sestia Supercoach, providing Supercoach content for you. I'm here to present the round three review. I got a text from my mate Liam. Shout out to my mate Liam. He beat me in the uh, head-to-head this week, and he just said Supercoach is open, Josh. So I just thought, you know what? I haven't done a live rank reaction in a while. So um, I believe we scored 1,926, which ain't too great. And uh, obviously the Hawks got done. It's not great losing those pricks, but that's all right. Um, so we'll get to the players in a sec. I'll have a look at my rank um, very shortly. Um, hopefully 1920, 1926, it was looking a lot worse 24 hours ago because, um, but what really helped me today was Dempsey going good. And then Stuart, not going fantastic. I mean, 99 still good, but um, Dempsey really helped me today. So that was good. And uh I don't think it's as bad of a week as I um as I thought it was gonna be. But we'll see with the rank. I'm gonna drop in rank. Still wasn't a great score. Let's have a look. What the what? Oh get a eh? <laughs> look at that. I thought I went crap. That's a bl- I've gone all right there. Holy shit, I'm six I'm six K rank. That's sick. Okay, I'll I'll take that. Oh, by the way, my hair is a mess. I went to the footy today and uh the lightning, bloody hell, it's not doing my hairline justice, so we'll just pull it down. But um I was at the game today and uh fair to say it was pissing down when I decided to leave. I left when the lightning um got delayed just because I mean we're down by six goals. I can't really be bothered hanging around. I've got got to get up at 5 a.m tomorrow so i'll do this video have a little play around my side and then probably hit the hay so um yeah okay well i'm not too i'm 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 happy with that okay i'm very happy with that six six thousand four hundred seventy three so that score actually wasn't too bad i still only won two out of my 12 leagues so that's i mean it's fair to say that i'm in some pretty good leagues Team value is now at, at um, 11 million, so that's pretty good. That's really the main thing I'm prioritizing, make sure we get this cash gen up and running. Um, let's head into the side. Uh, well, my trades. Um, need a quick reminder on what my trades were. So I did another boost as well. So I took took out Hayden Young, who went well. Brought in Ryan, though. Scored 130. I do trust Ryan long term. Wines went out. Um, he's just not getting the CBAs at all. Ken Hinkley totally lied to us, by the way. So, And we brought in uh, Tom Powell, uh, who scored a 92. So very similar scoring there. And brought out, uh, took out Alex Sexton, who's a bloke you probably could hold, but decided to move him on and brought in Jack Carroll just for extra cash gen. I think Sexton still can make another 50, 60K, but uh, he's probably my worst rookie. So let's have a look at the team again. Ryan went well. Um, so very happy with that. 130. Nick Dacos sort of struggled. I, I actually I shouldn't speak too much on some of them just because the I didn't watch uh Brisbane Collingwood and I didn't wa- I I watched I didn't watch the first three quarters of North and Carlton. So um Dacos went well there though, 112. I think he started off slow and built his way into the game, so that's good. Ryan, very happy with Sheasel. Um, one once again, really good score. He's going to be a top, probably top two or three defender this year. Massimo sixty eight. I thought it was all right. He was he was moved all over the shop with Hawthorne. So, but that's all right. Massimo is going to make a lot of money. Um, I'll go through the team first, and then um have a look at the break evens that sort of thing. And I've got a good plan in place, by the way, for trades this week. Blake House twenty six. I mean, that was taken out of my best eighteen score, but that was. Pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, it was crap. Sorry, it was crap. Um, Reed I use as a, as a loophole for Williams and and Hall. I took Williams as seventy. He was fine. Um, ain't going to be as good of a rookie as I think what we all hoped and thought he would be. Uh, Marty Hall fifty two. Um, probably filled him over Howes this week, but I don't want to. I don't want to be too biased towards um. Um, one bad score with Howes, but. Yeah, I'll probably field one of them. Um, we put the captain on Bont and vice captain Butters. So Bont just didn't fire fully. Like he was, it was pretty clear he was being managed during the game, being moved to full forward. Like 
for half the game. That pissed me off. But uh, it makes sense with the dogs there, just managing Bont. Um, so he was fine. Um, 110, had a really good last quarter. It was looking like a bit of a disaster, but we did hand out. We did. Uh, it did result in a fine captain score. Nothing amazing, but could have been so much worse. But it's 98, just didn't really fit into the game that well. LDU, 67. Now, this genuinely this genuinely pissed me off. I, this is probably the first time I've been pissed off with a score this year. So I don't pick Tom Green because of the early buy. And I went LDU instead. And LDU basically scored like a rookie uh, in the week that Tom Green isn't playing. So that really fucking burnt me. So that is really frustrating. Um, I'm going to look through avenues uh, with my trade plans. I don't think he's involved if I, if one of the options I can do works out. But um, yeah, just super frustrating there from LDU. Um, Nat 5, 69. Um, yeah, he's just going by. I mean, he might be in my trade plans this week. I think he's a bloke you can certainly hold, but we'll have a look at the break-evens in a sec. Matty Roberts turning out to be one of our best rookies this season, so that was a fantastic pick. Colbin McCurchin, not as good as he was in the first two weeks, but he was uh, fine. Like, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Harley Reid sort of struggled against the Dogs. He was moved a bit forward as a block uh, towards the end of the game, which clearly didn't help him. Uh, he was another one not in my best 18, so um, I'll have to see his break even, but um, I think we'll, we'll keep a hold of him. Riley Sanders, 77, super solid as you come. Flanders obviously had the buy. And uh, no buys this week, so we get a full full 22 on field for this week. So we'll get Flanders back. Carroll, 65. He he, was, he looks a little hurt towards the end, but he came back on and looks fine. So hopefully he can just keep his spot. Jai Clark was all good, um, 68. So he'll have a, a 61. and No, a 60 and a 68 in his scoring, in his cash gen cycle now. So his break even should still be pretty low. Gorn went bloody massive. Credit to anyone that put the vice captain or captain on him. He was clearly the best option for this week. Um, I didn't do it. Um, yeah, sort of failed with the vice captain and captain for the first time this season. But full credit also to my man, Liam, who put the vice captain on him. If he didn't put the vice captain on him, he probably wouldn't have beat me. But GG, mate. Um, Grundy, uh, really solid. He's coming up against West Coast this week. So that was fantastic. So that's pretty good. And then probably flick him at his buy just because I don't think he's a top two or three ruck in super coach. Livingston did not play. Handy 148. So for me, it seems like the play, <clears throat> obviously besides Gorn, but the play might have been VC Bont into Heaney, which I probably should have seen coming. Like I captain Butters last week against Richmond. Richmond's midfield's really easy to score against. And uh, Heaney delivered fantastically. So uh, 148 is turning out to be one of the, best picks for the year um, if he can keep that midfield spot, which, I mean, he, Sydney would be mad to take him out at this point now. Jackson, 98, so fell a bit more back down to earth this week. Um, spent a little bit more time forward as uh, Josh Tracy was uh, the big kahuna. Josh Tracy was in the ruck, so uh, a little bit more. So, I mean, that's fine. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous for when Darcy comes back, but I oh, will. Tom Powell, 92. So I brought him in this week and he was very solid. I think he's, I mean, I think he's the eighth best averaging um, forward for this season so far. So that's really good. James Jordan, 65, lowered his colors a little bit this week. We'll have a look at the break evens in a sec, but um, he was, uh, I just don't think the role's the best. He's like half forward wing, a lot of time on the bench. It's like, yeah. So 65's. Okay, I guess. I think he fell out of my best 18 as well. So, And then Billings, he has to go. He quite clearly has to go. Gave us a, a good cash injection, but his break even has got to be very low now and uh, uh, very high now. And um, not very high, but pretty high now. Um, and uh, yeah, I got all up and about when he scored a 119. But um, yeah, felt that certainly, this pick has certainly not turned out the way I would have liked. Got subbed out, has to go. Dempsey, really good. Really glad. Um, really good start and pick for me. Put him on field. I thought I, I had a bit of faith with him against the Hawks this week. Um, obviously, I would have preferred the Hawks to have gotten up, but 
uh, Les Dempsey was good and um, really sort of got close to what Tom Stewart scored. So I was pretty, very pleased with Dempsey and um, probably a bit too late for anyone to jump on now. So very happy with Dempsey. Cadman was on the buy and then Wilson, I looped, uh, oh yeah, what was my other loophole? So I, I looped Reed and Carroll. I actually lost out 11 points, but I'm best 18, so it doesn't really matter. Um, actually, it didn't mean anything uh, because uh, Jordan was out of my best 18. So um, yeah, no, oh, big deal. And uh, Darcy Wilson, yeah, I looped him with uh, Dempsey and uh, yeah, Wilson struggled there. So um, yeah, let's have a look. Let me refresh and see if um any trades or anything of updates to see what people are doing. Billings, all right, let's have a look at the break evens here. Ryan, good. Day cost is break evens massive. And he and he might cop the fin tag this week. Massimo's got a bit more money to make. Howes, 30 break even. I mean, you keep a hold of him. She's was fine. That doesn't matter. Williams, you can hold for another week. Paul, it's gonna be a slow burn. Bond, uh, I don't care about, oh, gee, LDU, Jesus Christ, 173. <laughs> um, Hopefully, my trade plans work. 545 break even. If he scores a 56, he goes up 5.2K. So probably one we can, can consider letting go of um, pretty soon, or if not now. Robert's still got a bit of money to make, so that's good. McKercher, negative 16 break even, so he's perfectly fine. Harley Reid. 22 break even, that's fine. Sanders still got a good break even. Carroll's still fine. Clark's Clark's perfectly fine. So uh he'll just be a slower burn there. Gorn, yep. Grundy. Um, yeah, just just pump out a good score against West Coast and then get rid of you. Heaney, gee, he's gonna get a lot of money into him. Jackson, yep, perfectly fine. Tom Powell still got a low break even. Ollie Dempsey, uh, negative break even of 19 and can go up 55K. Billings has to go. That's quite clear. Jordan, I think a lot of people are actually quite keen to get rid of James Jordan, but I'm holding him for another week there um, just because he's going up against the Eagles. Wilson's break even is a little bit higher now, so an 11, but uh, we'll keep a hold of him. All right. This is trade plans I'm thinking, and I'm really hoping that this works out. Now, it's probably quite obvious that I don't have Tom Green in my side and I need to get him in. So, Billings goes, please tell me this works. Please, please, please. All right. So, with Billings, you bring in Sam Darcy from the dogs. Uh, hang on, I should, should probably check. That's what people... Is everyone going Sam Darcy? Yeah. Josh Draper's not a bad shout either. And then you've got Tom Green. Tom Brand's not a good, uh, not a bad rookie either. I'm going to bring in Sam Darcy, though. Uh, break even of negative 92. Yeah, he's going to make a lot of coin. So I've already used two boosts. So I think it's pretty important now to not use boosts until upgrade season. So we'll be avoiding that. I've probably used maybe one or two trades too many, but you've got to do what you've got to do to fix up your side. And then here's the big one. So I've got 390K in the bank. Please be enough for Tom Green via... We going five? Yeah, we'll go five, I reckon. Yes. Yes. Get in my side. Tom Green after his buy. Beautiful. I'm not even sure if I'll touch um any other moves. You could make the argument that you don't have to get rid of Fife because he still is playing a good role, that sort of thing. But if he's my avenue to get to Tom Green, I, I got to do it. Um, I want to keep Jordan up until his buy. So probably next week I'll get rid of Grundy and Jordan. Um, probably try to get in Rowan Marshall. What's um, what's Rowan Marshall's break even and price six fourteen? Because I want to get him in after gather round. Break even of one sixty seven will just still drop a bit of coin. Okay, so if he scores an 84 against Richmond, he'll drop 27K. He'll be at a pretty solid price, and that will that'll probably be a straight swap realistically. Uh, Grundy's break even. 72, yep. Yeah, so that's probably something I'll do. I'll look to bring in Rowan Marshall next week. I think that's the plan. Then Jordan down to either a rookie or that sort of thing. But those are the trades I'm really looking to do. I mean, Tom Green, man. He's an absolute beast. I wish I started him. But 47% of sides, got to get him in. 
got to get him in. I can't, I can't bet against this 47% having Tom Green. So he's got to come in. I was thinking originally, like I might not have enough money with that. So then I could, so I was thinking of maybe swapping LDU to Green, but I, with this move, you're, you're upgrading your side. I know it's not really not upgrade season just yet, but I like these moves. So um, let's have a look at the full team. Let's see if we can try to set this up. All right, so it's not best 18. So how many players won't we have playing? We won't have Livingston shouldn't play and Reed won't play. So I can probably loop. I can probably loop one of my Melbourne defenders. So I'll keep Reed on field. Um, I'll chuck Williams on field here. I'll probably loop Marty Hoare. Um, oh, no, I can't loop shit. My bad. I can't actually loop Hoare and Howes because they obviously both play for the same team. Um, okay, well, that is redundant. So I guess I'll just... Plonk Reed onto the bench, I guess. When are the lim when does West Coast play? Okay. I haven't really thought of vice captain or captain. I won't lie, but Bond's playing more forward. I kind of don't want to bank on him as my captain, as weird as that sounds. I could captain Tom Green straight up. Who has Butters got? Essendon. Oh, that's not a bad matchup. And I probably need to do and I probably need to do my vice captain before West Coast play. So Butters, Butters vice captain probably. Brisbane and North. Could I do Sheasel? Sheasel's not a bad shout. I haven't got any Adelaide plays. Could you do Gorn? Oh, I think Riley O'Brien's a bit restrictive. I think we'll go Butters for now. And then captain, let's just stick it on the new man, Tom Grant. Although I should never captain a bloke I just brought in. Uh, definitely not Nick Dacos, Luke Ryan, maybe. Eh, don't trust him just yet. Heaney, who is... Oh, shit. Heaney up against the Eagles, surely. Surely. Butters into Heaney is what I'm thinking at this stage. Anyway, we'll leave it like that. Um, I think that's what we're doing. Butters in the Heaney. Early days, there's still a lot... That can change, but Buzz in the Heaney wouldn't be the worst play. And then in the midfield, I've still got so Bond Green, Butters, LDU. LDU might be my M8. The way he's going, I think blokes like Wardlaw and Powell, you know, there's better bodies now in there. Like Wardlaw's a, another year older and getting better. Tom Powell's in there. So there's more points to take off LDU, and LDU's easy to get tagged. I mean, bloody George Hewitt wiped him up. So anyway, I'm not looking to trade LDU. Um, I'm in for the long run with him. Um, my only way I would have traded him if there was no other way to get Tom Green. So um, yeah, I'm fine with this. Um, what else could I do? Do I want Darcy on field? Oh, wait, oh, wait. Shit, need to get Flanders on field. Swap Wilson to there. Dempsey, who have they got the dogs? Darcy. Depends on the weather. Apparently, the weather's pretty good. By the way, guys, I'm going to gather around this week. Uh, so driving up on the Wednesday to go. Sorry, I've messed this up. We'll get Flanders back on. I think I'll feel Dempsey again. I feel mildly confident about Dempsey being on field now. I think he's a perfectly fine rookie to put on field. Probably the rest of these blokes, probably not. Uh, Cadman going up against Gold Coast. Bit tougher of a matchup. Yeah, probably something like this early days. I'll quickly head into the leagues and then we'll... That'll be all she wrote for this video. So, yeah, shout out to Liam. He knocked me off there. Um, SDS Supercoach League. So, shout out to Henry, son of Sonic. Got the job done against me there. So, that's a good result for son of Sonic. Good on you, Henry, mate. Um, and then uh, in the uh, Supercoach Pro League, shout out to Tom uh, Finney Quest. Shout out to him who did knock me off by 20 points. By the way, look at some of my league losses here. 13 points, 20 points, um, 8 points, bloody 34 points, 21 points, 1 point by bloody Ross from third man up. Shout out to those great lads. Then DR knocked me off here by 
11 points as well. So let's have a look at the league standings for both these leagues here. Hawker's uh, Hawker Jules. Um, shout out to Julie for being up on top there. Caminiti, Camas Hammers. We love to see it on you, Anthony Caminiti. Good to see you back in the side and kicked a snag. Ripper bloke. Yep, Spills is in it. I'm 10th. Not getting too concerned just yet. And then Brave with Supercoach Pro. Um, yeah, so he's 2-0, and oh, and I'm down in ninth. Shout to Colin, who's top. Um, I think we can quickly go over the players that are being traded out most. Just real quick, Billings can go. Caulfield, yeah. Um, probably to, if you're looking to trade out Caulfield, maybe to more of a Draper or Tom Brown type. Jordan, I think he can hold another week. Um, going up against the Eagles and the break even's not that bad. He's still scoring just fine. What's efficient? Um, wait, I've mucked this up once again. Hang on. What's um Zach Fisher's break even? That's what I want to know. What's his break even for anyone that has him? 47. Okay, you could probably hold him for another week. Who have they got? They've got um Brisbane. I think Brisbane can concede a little bit to um defenders there what else we got here five you can, you can hold i'm probably moving on dawson i think he's dropped his money now so you might as well just hold him at this point he's a premium at the end of the day i know he's going crap but if you didn't get rid of him last week i think you just hold on to him now how's odd cape still got a little bit more money to make um being a solid rookie windsor uh what's his break even D7, you can probably just hold for another week. Put that one there. Gibkiss, yeah, you still got Gibkiss, then you can get rid. Wines is just playing at his price as well. Um, so that opens up other avenues. Darcy, yeah, Darcy's going to be super popular. Draper, yeah, maybe to replace like um, Gibkiss or Caulfield if you still got him. Flanders is a good target. Tom Green, of course, yep, that very good target. I'll stop doing that. Tom Brown, yep, good. Tom Powell, yeah, I'd get him in if you didn't get him in last week, but did go up a fair bit more money. Whitfield, I think, is a very good target as well. Jack Steele, I think, yeah, he's going up against a good matchup this week as well, so that's solid. Gorn, yeah, he's starting to get a little bit pricey now, so not too sure if you get on him now or wait for him to drop because he, he's that type of ruckman where he can drop a bit of money at some point, drop a couple of bad scores, and Haney, yeah, get Haney in. All right. Um, I think they'll wrap things up. So obviously I'm not on my desk, so I'm sort of on my bed with one of my legs crossed over. So it's getting a bit sore now. So um, I need to go to yoga or something just to increase my flexibility. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you are heading to Gather Round. We're heading up on Wednesday morning, leaving at about 5am, trying to get there at about 3. I'm driving up. Um, so we'll see how we go. Let me know if anyone's heading down. I'll come say to get, get out of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys had a ripper week yourself and have a good one. See ya.